I'm on my own, broken along. I feel the rain crashing down. What is up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. So, um, today's video, I do not have mine yet. Um, I'm planning on naming them Kiwi and Nugget. And I think that's just super cute for names. I'm super excited. I've been, like, I have everything ready because I'm so excited to just get them, like, I'm missing their bedding. I'm planning on getting Carefresh bedding because, in my opinion, Carefresh and Clean and Cozy are the best beddings, but they're expensive because you get, like, a good amount. Like, you get 60 liters for only $22. Like, in my opinion, that's a pretty good price. Um, so... I have a haul ready for you all, um, that rhymed, so let's just get on with this, uh, yeah, we okay. are going to start with, in my opinion, some of the most important things, uh, food I'm gonna do at the end of the video, because, obviously, like, that's really important, but I have all my other stuff right here, so I'm gonna start with a big wheel, this is an 8.5 inch wheel this is by the brand i think it's um this is by kc it's a comfort wheel you can get these off amazon this was only 650 for an 8.5 inch i think that's a great deal um it was this is the large you need a big wheel so that the mouse can be fully stretched out if you see any arching in your mouse you need to get them a bigger wheel you need to upgrade them so this is my wheel super excited um i am getting two females in case you're wondering uh so i only need one big wheel um if you have three females though that's when you need two wheels so the next thing i'm going to do is a water bottle so this is their water bottle it is um the mouse drinking bottle and uh it's an 80 milliliter bottle has the bottle it works really well for me um there's a cooling room under it so this is the stand so then they can go under and this is actually by the brand Carno. Carno, i don't know how to pronounce it but it's called Hamster Drink Bottle with Cooling Room. So I totally recommend this product. Um, the next thing that I'm going to show you is how about their huts. Yeah, we'll show you some of their huts. So this is the first hut that I have. I got this after I got their food bowl. And as you can see, they're nearly the exact same color. I got the food bowl first. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is an adorable cup. And later I went shopping and I saw this. It's actually originally a candle holder. But I was like, it would match the food bowl perfectly. It's a perfect hut. It has a bottom too. So I put fleece, I always put fleece strips in my huts so that they can rip them up and make a nest. So there's that. Uh, the next hut that I have is... A hay hut. I'm pretty sure this is by KT. I got this for I think three dollars. It was a really good price. Um, more fully strips are in it, but this one doesn't have a bottom, so that's why I was holding the fleece strips. So the next item that I have is a popsicle stick hut that I made, which is actually bottomless, and I don't have fleece in this yet because it's big um i'm gonna need a lot of fleece i have some ready but i haven't put them in yet because i don't have the bedding so i'm not setting up the cage yet the next thing we're gonna move on to is like just extras i have this litter tray um i have like fake grass in here now it's like easter egg grass but i found it for for a dollar for a big bag of it so I put that in the litter pan, and I'm also going to mix it with bedding. So I'm hoping they use the litter pan. But if not, that sucks. 
The next thing I have is, okay, it's connected to the top of their cage, or the mesh top. So it's this little thing here that I got from Petco. And I think it's really cool. I shortened these a little bit, like figured out my own way. And then I have two hanging two things right here. The next thing I have is, it's actually, I'm not bringing you towards it. It's a wire bridge that I made out of, um, obviously wire. Um, popsicle sticks and hot glue. So all you do is just glue the popsicle sticks onto two pieces of wire and you have a bendy bridge. You can use it as a ramp, bendy bridge, you can use it as um, like a connector for um, different places. You can use it as a divider, but I like to use it as a ramp. The next thing that we have is just four oak slabs you probably won't get oak slabs but i like to use oak because um, we already had them so they're these slabs that we cut to fit so that it's like a staircase i think it's pretty cool so that they can get up to a platform which i'm actually about to show you so this platform i actually was inspired by aaron's animals hamster platform so it's basically a hut that they go in this is the back but then the sides are open so that when you put it in the cage like this you can see them in it i think that's pretty cool um it has this little pond at the top that is like reflectant so if you would like to diy this yourself go watch erin's animals video um, it's called, it's so cute that YouTube wants to demonetize it. I think that's a pretty cool name. Um, the next thing and the last thing I think, no, I have two, three more things after that, is another platform that I, I think everybody can get. You don't have to DIY or anything, but you do have to do a little, is a locker stand. So, you basically put this in your cage, and it's a perfect platform. You can hang things from it, which I choose not to do because I have a wheel right under it, so it won't work anyway. And then you just get a cardboard top, which I actually have over there, but I can't reach it. And then put stuff on top. I think that's pretty cool. And you use zip ties to, like, zip tie it down, but I haven't done that yet. So, the next thing that that I have is this little garden thing. I actually got this at, I don't know where I got it, but I'm pretty sure it's from Michael's this item. I remember I got it from like either a thrift store, garage store or something. I de, um, de oh my gosh, I cleaned it, yeah that's there. The next thing I have is these little wooden seat thing, or they're fake wood. It's like ceramic and stuff. Like I, I also cleaned this item. Then the last thing that I have is a little tunnel that you get from pet call and they can chew on it it comes with like treats inside but they chew some like my rabbit had this before um the mice will have it and she chewed all the treats out already so yeah um that is pretty much it for this video if you would like to see any of my like um setup or like cage tour later just let me know in the comments down below. Thank you all for watching. And if you like any DIY of any sort, I'd be up for that. So, yeah. I'd love it if you all commented down below. And like this video and subscribe. 
Thank you, everybody. Make sure to turn on that bell to receive notifications whenever I post a new video. Bye!